Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Vogue 2022 Winter Collection. It was just released this past week and I am excited to share with you my thoughts and my review of these patterns. So not an actual review of sewing the patterns, obviously, but my thoughts and my impressions of these patterns. I will tell you about the line art, the details, and what I think of the, the patterns and which patterns I would actually consider purchasing for myself. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get into today's video and look at these beautiful newly released patterns. So if you're visiting my channel for the first time, I do these uh, thought impression videos of newly released Butterick, Vogue, McCall's Simplicity, and also New Look Patterns. The Know Me Patterns just recently launched. It's a brand new uh, pattern company under Mimi G. So if you want to take a look at that, you can go ahead and click this little um, uh, Know Me uh, icon here and you can look at the newly released patterns there. And you can also look at some of my past reviews of these patterns. I'll put a few uh, links in the description box and you can go over and check those out. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and look at the Vogue new pattern release. And I'm going to go ahead and click that here. So this is the new patterns released under Vogue. And we're going to go ahead and take a closer look at some of these patterns. And we're going to click on the new winter collection here. And we're going to go ahead and start with this pattern here, which is the Vogue V 1926. This is a Mrs. Coat in two different lengths with collar variations. Now I have to say, I really love this coat. I absolutely love this. It's one of my favorite out of the collection. And I also feel like Vogue has really upped their game with this winter collection. I feel like the fall collection was a little lacking and didn't really give us um, what we normally get from Vogue. And so I'm really glad to see this winter collection because I feel like we have a few patterns in here that most of us would agree that are really great and uh, really stylish and also on trend, but also something that we can actually wear um, uh, and be comfortable in. So again, this is the Vogue V 1926. I feel like this is very versatile in terms of body shape, even though on the website here, it says that it is figure flattering for your hourglass, your inverted triangle and your triangle shapes. I still feel like this is a coat that pretty much anyone can wear. Um, even myself who have larger biceps and normally, um, fitted, sleeves just don't look well especially if i have a semi-fitted bodice it usually doesn't look well but i feel like this is something that almost anyone can wear the description says that it is semi-fitted it's a semi-fitted line coat has a two-part piece a set in sleeve with working vents shoulder pads side front pockets and side back and side front seams the coat also come in different length variations. View A is a collarless coat and view B has a stand up collar and patch pockets. So I think what really drew me into this is the button detail. I absolutely love the button detail. I also like the fact that it has princess seams and princess seams is uh, really great for getting a really close contour fit or look. So I really love that. I also like that it has an optional neckline. So I don't really like stand up uh, necklines very much. And so I really love the fact that they included that optional neckline with no collar. I also like the length variation. And I'm not really crazy about lining coats, but I feel like they are also necessary if you want a really clean finish and since this is like a contour type garment i would expect to have those clean finishes on the inside with a really nice uh lining so i really like all of that even though i'm not particularly crazy about lining all my garments 
I do like the option there to do that. So this is a really great pattern in my eyes and I really am looking forward to uh, getting it in the future. So next we have this Mrs. Double Breasted Jacket. It's the Vogue V 1927. I really love this jacket. Jackets like this, they are always on trend. I love the style of this. I love the button details, the pocket details, the lapel. The only thing that I don't like about this pattern is that it has um, shoulder pads. And you all know my gripe with shoulder pads. I just don't like shoulder pads on my body type because it will make my arms and my upper body look bigger. And I already have a top heavy um, a top. So I don't like to put shoulder pads on my shoulders. However, I still think it's a beautiful jacket. I love the two part sleeve that gives the arms shaping in the description. It says that it is figure flattering for your hourglass and your triangle shapes. I definitely would disagree with that because I feel like jackets like this can be worn by just about anyone. People like me, uh, with a larger upper top, um, especially across my uh, high bust and also my arms. Uh, sometimes I don't want to draw attention to that area because, like I said, don't want to put shoulder pads in. Don't want to have like this really slim uh, silhouette um, up at the the broad shoulder area. But other than that, I think pretty much anyone can wear this. Uh, and I think it's a really great jacket. Next on the list is this Vogue V1919, which is a full length dress for hourglass and triangle shaped individuals. With these sleeves, I really feel like a person with an inverted triangle shape such as myself could actually get away with this. So I really like this for that reason. I also like the, con not contrast, sorry. I love the belt detail on it and also the um, fitted silhouette. So the description says that it's a fitted line dress that has a round neckline with a uh, purchase beaded trim. So you have to purchase your bead trim to uh, apply it to the neckline there. It also has a bodice, the bodice has a side front and back seams, shoulder flounces with horse braid, braid um, that you're going to be including in there as well as thread carriers and you have an invisible back zipper with a hook and eye closure at the back of the neckline and a finished narrow hem. The dress includes matching belt with a covered buckle. So I really like this. I think again, it's just a beautiful design. Personally, I wouldn't purchase this pattern or make it just simply because I don't go anywhere all that elegant to wear something like this. Um, it would be nice to actually make it and to have the experience and to to sew it and to show it on social media. Um, I don't really go to many fancy places or to, um, ca uh, I'm sorry, not casual, to uh, formal events. So uh, that's the only reason why I wouldn't purchase it. But um, if I ever get a chance to go to a formal event, this is definitely a dress that I would like to wear to it. Next, there's the Vogue V1931, which is a Mrs. Vintage dress. Um, you all know how I feel about vintage um, makes here, uh, especially with the big four. I feel like a lot of the big four vintage patterns, I just... I can't really fit them without doing a lot of major alterations. But again, with that said, this is one of those fancy vintage dresses. And again, I have nowhere to wear something like this. So even if I were to purchase it and make it, I just don't have anywhere to <laughs> wear something like this too. Um, it is categorized as advanced and figure flattering for your hourglass, inverted triangle and triangle shapes. The description says that it's a vintage Vogue pattern circa 1957 with a full flared skirt that is joined by a bare top bodice at the waistline. So, and then you also have your ribbon lacing in the bodice front, which is optional. Uh, so again, I, I really like the dress and I think it's really cute, but it's just not something that I am sewing these days. 
I really do like the design of it. I like how elegant it is. I think for those individuals who are sewing like period costumes or uh, kind of like historical type costumes would really like um, sewing these types of garments and putting them into their um, collections. Like I, I see that with these types of garments. I think that um, they're very beautiful. Next, there's the Vogue V1921, which is uh, Mrs. Dresses in two different lengths. I really like this one as well. It's very easy. As it, It's saying that it's easy, not very easy, but it's um, rated as easy. Figure flattering for your hourglass, inverted triangle and triangle shapes. However, I think this is also one of those designs that will be figure flattering for all body types as well. I really love the long uh, sleeves and also the fact that it is a loose fitting dress, which again, I think all body types could actually benefit from that. Any type of looser silhouettes, most body types are, um, uh, you know, can wear those types of garments. Uh, the description says that it's loose fitting dress that has a yoke detail, gathers long, uh, slightly flared sleeves, raised waist seam, front ties, flared bottom, invisible back zipper, and narrow hems. It says that it the dress comes in length and contrast variations. Now, I really like this. I like that this pattern has a really loose silhouette, which I think is figure flattering for all body types, in my opinion. I like the yoke back and the yoke front and also the gathers. So that is the line art for, for this. And it's just really gorgeous. I love this pattern. I'm not sure about the raised waistline or the deep V neckline. However, I love the contrast options. If I were to buy this, which I am considering buying it, I would definitely raise the V neckline so it doesn't have that plunging V. But other than that, I absolutely love this and I think it would be great for all body types. Next, there's the Vogue 1924 which is a Mrs. Uh, top that has two different length variations. This is designed by Sandra Bexina. The sewing instructions, um, the sewing rate is advanced and the description says that this is a architectural zipper front top that comes in two lengths. Collar turns out in the front and falls and folds when worn. Top has shaped armhole facings and detailed pockets. And that's what it looks like. I am not going to tell any tales here. I don't like this design. I don't know what it is, but I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it at all. Um, I don't know again what it is, but I'm not here for this. Um, it's the only one in the collection, I think, that I, I would have to say this would be a strong no for me. I think this is a very unique pattern. However, this isn't something that I actually would want to sew for myself. I think Sandra Bagzina is actually really creative and she's always pushing herself to create new designs. But this isn't something that I would select. Next, there's the Vogue V1928. Now, this is probably my favorite pattern out of the entire collection. I absolutely love this dress. Now, the description says that this is a Mrs. Nightgown in two different lengths. But I like to think that this could actually be worn as a dress and not as just a nightgown. It just depends on your fabric's choices. So the sewing for this, the sewing rate for this is average. So this is gonna be for your intermediate sewers. Figure flattering info says that this is for your hourglass inverted triangle and triangle shapes. Again, I think this is one that all body types can actually benefit from. The description says that this is a classy nightgown that has a V neckline, shoulder pleats, self tie at the waist, baby hems, and angular back seams. The nightgown includes long bishop sleeves with pleats, narrow binding, and slit opening 
at the wrist with snap closures. And the description says that you can make it in mid lengths as well as evening lengths, which means you can also make a maxi dress. So I absolutely love this. I love the details. I love the darts. I just love this dress. I love the pleats. I love the bishop sleeve. I love the fact that it's a wrap. I also like the, um, the darts at the back because, you know, darts always give us shaping. I'm not quite for certain about the angular uh, back bodice there. However, I still think it's a, a pretty great pattern and I absolutely like it. Next, there's the Vogue V1920. This is a Mrs. Dress by Claire Schaefer. Now, I'm really torn with this one here. Um, over on Instagram, I took a poll for all of these and this one, I think one person out of 200 and some people, uh, about almost 250, uh, did not like this. I think one person liked it. Everybody else did not like it. Although I'm somewhat torn as to whether I like this pattern or not, I am leaning more towards liking this pattern than disliking the pattern. I think it's really unique and it's different. I really like the uniqueness of the neckline there, which I think offers a different perspective. It is categorized as advanced. So this is going to be for your, you know, your season. So is those individuals who have quite a bit of skills under your belt. Figure flattering for your hourglass, inverted triangle, and rectangle shapes. The description says that it's partially lined, semi-fitted dress that has a neckline pleat stitched by hand with elastic scraps placed inside on each side of the neckline to hold pleats flat. Elastic fa fastens at the center back. The dress includes long setting sleeves, lingerie guards, back zipper sewn by hand and a hook and eye closure. So I really do like the neckline. I like the pleats around the neckline and I just, I think it's very unique and I would, I would not be opposed to giving this an, a try to just see how it looks maybe in a print instead of a solid fabric. I think it would be really cute. Now I am I have to say, I don't like the whole sewing by hand, but with that said, it's not, I don't think it's going to be like a lot of sewing by hand, um, but to sew a zipper by hand, I just, I don't like the, the idea of sewing a zipper by hand. I would have to actually go into the instructions and look and see if there is an option to actually sew your zipper without doing it by hand. I have to see the reason for why they uh, call for that. But other than that, I think it's a really decent pattern and I would I would give it a try. Next, we have the Vogue V1923, which is an off the shoulder bodysuit. Now I have to say next to the nightgown wrap dress, this is one of my favorite patterns of the collection. It's really cute. I love the open neckline. I love the crossover bodice. I love, it, it's just a really beautiful pattern. I would say this is definitely going to be for your knit fabrics, which I also love. This is rated for your average sewist or your intermediate sewist. It's figure flattering for your hourglass, your inverted triangle, and your triangle shapes. The description says that it's a close fitting off the shoulder bodysuit that has a crossed band that uh, create a soft V neckline at the bodice and forms a fold over back. The bodysuit includes sleeve length variations and fastens with a snap closure. So I really love this. I think it is just so gorgeous. I love the models and how they represent the pattern here. I am in love with this gray or this silver. I believe this is a velvet type material. It is just so gorgeous and I love it paired with these black pants. The white I'm not too crazy about just simply because I don't like wearing white but it's still very beautiful on the model. I think getting the right model and the right fabric for the pattern to um, 
to show your sample garments is going to be everything in terms of how one um, looks at the, the pattern and what kind of uh, vision they can see. And I can just see this being um, made in so many different types of fabrics. It's just so beautiful. I really love this. It, it's a really gorgeous pattern and it, it did have really great uh, high rankings when I did my poll for it. Next, we're taking a look at the Vogue V1922. This is going to be a strong no for me. I don't really like this pattern. I feel like there's so much going on. And after we read the description, I'll explain to you why I feel like it's just too much going on in this pattern. This is a Mrs. Sleeveless Top. The rating for this is average and it is stated to be figure flattering for all body types. The description says that it's a lined sleeveless top that has modified sweetheart neckline with the intricate scraps and bow detail on the upper chest. Top includes empire seaming, bust darts, and an invisible back zipper. And view A has a contrast on the scraps and bow detail. So that's basically the reason why I said it's just too much going on in one pattern. So you have this sweetheart neckline with intricate scraps. So that's two different things on your neckline. And I think that um, visually it just takes your eye away from both because you're looking at both of them, in my opinion. I would like to have just either the sweetheart neckline or you can have a regular neckline a rounded neckline or squared neckline with a uh, strap detail. I think that having a sweet heart neckline by itself is already visually pleasing and it uh, attracts the eye specifically to that neckline area. So having a sweet heart neckline plus straps, in my opinion, is just too much. Um, there's also the bow detail on the upper chest as well. So that's another added um, detail here. So let's see here. So here's the line art and this is what I'm saying. It's just, in my opinion, it's just, it has too much going on with it. Um, and I think just having that sweetheart neckline with either maybe the, an upper tie would be great, but to have like scraps going down from the neckline to the bodice, and also going from the shoulder, from one shoulder to the other or meeting in the center with a bow. It just seems like it's just way too much. And then you also have um, the same detail for the back, which is, in my opinion, quite odd <laughs> to have um, the same uh, detail for the front and the back. Usually we have a slightly different detail for the back than we have for the front. So... Um, I'm I'm just not feeling this pattern as much. I feel like it's just too much going on. Um, and I would definitely omit something if I were to make this. Next, we have the Vogue V1925, which is Mrs. Jacket in two different lengths by Marcy Tilton. So this is a very versatile pattern. I feel like it's for all body types. You have two different lengths and you also have princess seams a two-part sleeve, top stitching detail, and it's also great for color blocking options as well. The only thing that I don't really like about this, again, is that um, you have to line, line it and also you have welt pockets, but that's just my own gripe. The sewing rating is average, so this is gonna be for your intermediate sewers, and again, it's figure flattering for all body types. The description says that it's a semi-fitted jacket in two lengths that feature, features an asymmetrical front with separating zipper, princess seams, two-part sleeves, and lining and welt pockets. And view B has a hood. So here is the line art for view A. So again, I really do like the option that you have all these different um, pieces here that you can actually color block, especially for the back. You also have a top stitching detail, which I think is really cool. Separating zipper, which is going to be really fun. And um, it's, it's great for opening your jacket all the way up. So I really like that. And um, that two part sleeve is also pretty cool as well with the top stitching detail. And if you look at view A here at the back, you'll see that the two part sleeve 
you have that seam that goes up and it meets at the back seam of the garment, which is really cool. I think it's a really great detail. Very advanced in my opinion, but it's a really great pattern nonetheless, and I really love it. Um, I think this one um, on Instagram, it had a really great high ranking. There were a few people that didn't like it, but for the most part, it was um, a pattern that most people actually liked. So next we have another vintage pattern. So this is the Vogue V1932. It is a vintage suit and coat pattern. So this is supposed to be figure flattering for all body types, but it is advanced. The description says that this is a vintage Vogue pattern circa 1949 suit and coat collarless jacket with a deep shaped flap simulating pockets that has long two piece sleeves, very slim three piece skirt that has pleats at the center back, straight three to three quarter length coat with two flat pockets and single button Closing at neck has a wide turn down collar, straight sleeves, and the vent at the center back of the, um, of the, let's see here, the skirt there. So here are the line arts for the jacket, coat, and the skirt. I think the jacket will be maybe intermediate. But this, I think the coat is intermediate and the jacket might be a little bit more detailed. You have pockets and darts and things of that nature, two part sleeves and things. But I think that coat might be um, a little bit more easier than the than the jacket. And then also your skirt is probably going to be for your advanced beginners as well. So really nice little set, little vintage set there. And I, I would actually purchase this because I think that the coat and the skirt would actually uh, be one of those um, that are a little bit more looser and I can actually get the fit that I want. Like I said in my um, previous videos and also I believe at the beginning of this video when we saw the other vintage pattern, I usually don't fit a lot of um, commercial vintage patterns but I think this one would probably be one that has a looser silhouette for the jacket that I might be able to get away with it so that um that would be something that I actually would probably uh make I don't know too much about the sleeves most sleeve patterns I have to do bicep adjustments so I would have to actually look at the sleeve pattern and see how wide the sleeve pattern is but I think the jacket and the skirt I meant the coat, sorry. I think the coat and the skirt would be um, two patterns that I probably would be able to wear from this particular vintage uh, pattern. Next, we have the Vogue V1929. So this would complete the collection for Mrs. So this is the last pattern that was released for Mrs. So this is a Mrs. top and uh, dress and pants. So I think this is kind of like your bougie loungewear set. So it's a little bit more, you know, um, semi-formal, not, not too formal, but semi-formal for your knit tops, dresses, and pants, which I think is really cool. This is easy and figure flattering for all body types. The description says that it is a top and dress that are loose fitting through the bust and have asymmetric off the shoulder necklines. Both top and dress include extra long sleeves with a thumb hole cuff and stitched hems. Below waist pull on pants have elasticized waist and stitched hem. Here's the line art. I think it's pretty cool. I really do um, like the, the style, like this off the shoulder type style. I don't know too much about the whole thumb between the sleeve business. <laughs> I've never really liked those types of garments, but other than that, I think it's a really cool garment. I love the um, how the, the garment kind of slouches off of the shoulder there, which is really cool. And the pants, they're just, you know, you're just regular, easy 
pull on pants, which is really nice. Lastly, we have the Vogue V1930, which is a men's coat. Now, I was a little bit disappointed that this was the only release that they had for men. But nonetheless, you know, we have to take what we can get. <laughs> so I really like this. And this is also another favorite of the collection. For me, I love this slim fit that the, the garment has. I know my husband would not wear anything like this. He does not like anything close fitting. He likes things to be kind of like a regular relaxed fit, but uh, I do like it. And I think it could actually be really versatile. I think it could be a unisex coat and I think women can actually wear this as well. Uh, I really like it. So it is advanced, fully lined, slim fitting coat that has a notch collar two-piece sleeves, shoulder pads, welt pockets, and back vent. And here's the line art. Really beautiful. I love the collar detail on this. I love the uh, darts in the front. I love the two-part sleeve. It's just a really nice, clean look. And I really love it. And I wish my husband actually wore things like this. Um, I would definitely run out and get it and make it if he did. Uh, but he doesn't really wear these types of coats or these types of styles. And like I said, he likes more of a relaxed fit. But I think this is a beautiful, beautiful design and coat. And I am glad that they released this, especially during this time for men. All right, my friends, so that does it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, please consider subscribing by hitting that red subscribe button below this video. I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. Until next time, stay creative, my friends. Bye.